Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Uh, so when we last left off, uh, I just saved, and we're going into this uh, Holy Berry Cave to, well, to try and help this kid. Um, his father's sick, he needs some berries, so we blow open the passage to help him. Uh, there's a treasure chest over here. She gives me the bandana. Grab the holy berries here. So, huzzah, we can get out of the cave. So I've been playing... I, I, again, this is something I'd mentioned in the previous recording of this. Um, but what is it about, like, ancient technologies slash civilizations and this fixation on eyes like that that pillar there um there's an eye at the top of it you know it's glowing blue and all that um but a lot of other games i find seem to have this again fixation with eyes you have um uh in Mega Man legends um a lot of the robots and the areas you go to it, it, there's a lot of just eye uh i don't know what you call it uh iconography sort of um but then also the Sheikah in Final Fantasy VII. Um, who else was focused on eyes? I know there's one more. Um, but yeah, no, if if there's something that you guys know of that I'm forgetting, just uh, put down in the comments. All right, and here we are. We are fighting the zombie. Oh. Didn't, uh... All right, let's just give myself a quick heal berry, just to counteract a bit of uh, damage he could be doing to me here. Uh, Rut Threat, which is a move that the Marlboro in uh, Final Fantasy uses. Uh, it's one of my favorite monsters, so I'm a bit annoyed that he's stealing it from him. But hey, what you gonna do? I think I guess I guess no monster has a. a a corner on the halitosis market. God. The things you can say when describing a video game. Oh my gosh, two critical hits. Alright, well let's just start locking on and shoot him. Oh, this could go badly for me. Thankfully, I saved, but... Oh, don't deal too much damage. Oh, counterattack. Okay. Woo. Oh, that was poorly planned out on my part. Have I learned nothing from Joan of Arc? Apparently not. Breath again. Which honestly, the animation looks more like an explosion. Like, like, look at the animation for uh, my gun, and then compare it to uh, the animation for Rotten Breath. This looks more like what I would expect you know, an exhalation to look like. Air and, and puff of smoke and all that. This guy, he just sort of like shoots a green bomb at me. No, a la Star Fox. Do a barrel roll! I don't know, maybe I'm being too critical. I do love the animations in this game. Of course, I'm a bit biased. I grew up with this stuff. Oh, and a counterattack. Perfect. I don't know why, but like... The particles on this guy's body, you know, like like the shading and how he looks. I just suddenly thought, man, he looks a bit like a, a Power Rangers bad guy. <laughs> I haven't watched Power Rangers in years. Of course, we never... I never really grew up with uh, like access to cable or anything. Any any TV I would watch, my, uh, my grandfather would have recorded at his place. Would send to us on good old VHS and way back in the day. I never 
reminded, it was really fun. I've got a lot of, you know, really great old shows with an easy access. And that is how he dies. Just sort of kneels before my prowess. Pro prowess? Prowess. I beg your pardon. I know how to speak English. Anyway. Uh, cast the Holy Berry at the Regenerating Zombie. Get away from the Holy Berry the Zombie to... Smoke. And of course, everyone's really ticked off because... You know, I have a forbidden weapon. The arm. Alright, so the mayor's like, Yeah, you, you saved the boy, but you have done something forbidden. You have to be judged by our village law. And my reaction is, absolutely not. I don't live in your village. Ugh. All right, fine. If you have to judge me, like, I literally, I tried to say no, like, as many times as I could, but I have to go to the village and be judged, quote-unquote. So they start talking smack, and I can hear them through the wooden floorboards. <laughs> I'm just a dream chaser. It's like saying I'm just a uh, a cattle herder. I have a I have an important job. Whether you would like think it's important or not, you know that that's your opinion there. I mean, I think we'd all agree that as much as we we sort of just don't think about like their jobs or anything, uh, people who work. Uh, Know, work, work garbage, or um, you know, make sure that our, our sewer lines are working fine. Or um, uh, septic, uh, septic cleaners. Uh, it's all very important jobs, and someone's someone does it. So uh, if if any people uh, of the above listed jobs, or well, listed jobs, sorry, um, or a job that I didn't list but is equally as important. Um, I want to thank you. Uh, you all do a very important work. Uh, and I, I th we all very much appreciate what you do. Um, and so don't let, uh, don't let people who think that your jobs are beneath them uh, get to you. It's, it's very important stuff. Anyway, from that to the memory temple. And this is the third and last guy that uh, we have talked to. Uh, so Han Pan's this uh, mouse character here. Who, I always love his talking animation, because it looks more like he's like quickly eating a little bit of food, like a cheese or a nut or something. Just... Alright, so this guy's looking for some sort of power. What'd you do, Han Pan? Alright, so we have to engrave a name. So, uh, we'll just put in our character's name. Technically, he's named Jack, but we'll go with what I called him last time. Uh, again, I've been trying to, I was trying to think of something else I could call him, but I sort of decided to go with this. So we have, now, our team commit is, consists of, uh, a French woman, a American actor, and a uh, ancient Japanese swordsman. This was, uh, to be honest, this was always the uh, character I would start the game with whenever I played. Um, just because of this moment here, it's just so funny. Musashi Van Bures. The music, uh, the <laughs> him running away from this boulder, a hand pan here. Uh, just there we go. We're all set. We look awesome. Oh crap! Bigger boulder. And it's back. We are looking for the ultimate power, surpassing any other in existence. Now, if Kenny was wondering, yes, they do take into account that spear hit. Um, if you look at my uh, health uh, when we start, 
uh, when we gain control of the character here, um, I am not actually at full health. I'm gonna explore. Let's just get out of here. See, 69 out of 85. Oh yes. Ah. Well, well. Okay. So if there's, if you read that note, um, it will say, "Oh, hey, uh, there's nothing in this area. I've already taken it all." But I guess if you go for the uh, chest first, uh, you'll actually have stuff. So we'll see if that applies to everything. I think it does. Probably does. Nope. And here we go. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to see the balloons here better. There it is. Attack the pill bug because the pill bugs uh, have a tendency of running away, so if I want the XP from them, I want to attack them first. But yeah, like I said, the balloons really freaking creepy. Hate them, absolutely hate them. Don't hate is the ability to run in this game, really an idea. Whoever uh, thought of like being able to run like this, thank you. It's a great ability. Huh, you guys again. Ouch. You fired! Comment if you got that reference. Yeah, that movie came out when I was... Suffice it to say, I feel old now, having quoted that movie. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, well. Back to the starting line. And another fight. Psycho crack? Okay, it's just, uh... Just against one. <laughs> Now, the cool thing is, um, you do get to keep the items you gained in the uh, previous character's uh, intros. So, strictly speaking, I guess they assume that you'll go down the list like as it's presented to you, so you'll start off with uh, with, jo with with John Wayne, and then you'd lose Musashi, and then you'll finish off with uh, uh, Joan of Arc. Uh, but... We didn't do that, so so much for that. All right, so Pan Pan, we can send over to areas that we can't reach. And he'll do stuff for us. So I'm now gonna equip my cowboy hat. Giddy up. Yeehaw. Zippity doo da day. I don't think it's a cowboy phrase. A preemptive strike. Awesome. Critical hit against a pill bug. <laughs> totally necessary. It's one of the the sad parts about playing RPGs. There's moments where you just try up against fighting a guy that you thought was impossible by using your wits and a couple good items, and then there's moments when you you, you critical hit against a uh, you know a pill bug. Not exactly my shining moment of heroism, is it? probably make these episodes a little, well this episode I anyway, a little bit longer just so I can uh, finish up uh, Musashi's area, but uh, it probably won't run too much longer than what I'm hoping the episodes to sort of average at. That and pan. Thank you. Whoops. Wrong door. Ouch again. I should probably heal myself, really. Yep. Heal Mary it is. Alright, um. 
this way? Yes. Gosh, I love the running of this game. Alright, push that and send hand pan. I do love hand pan in this game. She's so cute! I sort of wish. I can't remember if you. Like, is there a way to use the battle with them? That'd be really awesome. Like, sort of a, a chrono trigger double strike type situation, you know, like Chrono and Frog, uh, they can do the X-Strike. Um, wouldn't that be really cool for, like, Pan Pan and uh, Musashi here to do? Just Pan Pan grabs his sword, uh, whoops, quickly runs, slices the enemy a little bit, tosses it over, and he plunges it, but it's really cool. Now, with my luck, that's actually something that happens, and I've just completely forgotten about it, but, uh, You'll have to see. Alright. Yes, the number one trick in uh, any RPG, if you think that one way is the correct way, don't go through it. You always want to go the ways they don't want you to go, just in case you miss any cool boot or something. Oh, and the pill bug runs away. Well, get out of my face, for a little bit. Disgust me. Seriously, absolutely disturbing. Alright, and... That! Click that. Ta-da! Oh yeah, this part. Alright, so certain certain pathways through the spikes are dead ends, so you just have to like first time through it's Oh yes! I forgot about this guy! Oh the skeleton! Alright, I love the noise this guy makes. I'll probably make it one more time, so I'll 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 be quiet just so you guys can hear this noise. Well that wasn't the noise I was hoping for. Oh well, he'll probably show up again. We'll have another chance. Oh, I had to be talking over it too. Feel like a bright kitchen. Hi, gloves. Alright, come on, skeleton buddy. Come on, come on. So much. Ah, I need to like get a clip of that and just like put it to so many. It's like it, it, it's so well for so many things. It's the sound I made when I realized that I didn't save any of my audio. Ugh. It's the sound you make when you have to get up early in the morning. Ugh. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, I'm good. Oh, yes, this part, okay. So, this message we're gonna get here is almost a poem. It is so close. It, it has the right meter, like it flows really well, but they never finish the rhyme. It's an ilu, or however you pronounce that. What's an ilu? Long ago, an alien race lived here. Advanced race who used technology laced with magic. These are the remnants of a race whose lives were in sync with the laws of nature. So this is an ilu? Now this is a holographic image. Yeah, of course it is, you idiot. The information left here will be retrieved later. It certainly is a temple of memory. Ilu is streaking directly into my mind. <laughs> wow, with your thick skull? It certainly is advanced technology. Alright, here we go. Seek not Lolithia. She sleeps in her tomb. Lalithia's icy breath can only destroy 
and it ends. It needs one more word, like destroy with doom. Dis seek not Lolithia in her tomb. The Elu have departed. Seek not Lolithia, for she is bound in the land of light. <laughs> it's so close to poetry. She is the death wind, the heartbeat of annihilation, an absolute destructive power. And then they just totally give up on it. Oh, it had such good flow, and it just needed a couple of words to rhyme, and... I like poetry. Adelaide means light. So, basically, we go to Adelaide. And that's it for, uh... Musashi's section. Of course, we'll, uh, we get the little bit at the end, like, with everyone else here. Um... So, uh, I'll probably load the save guy I had previously. So, I'll start. I'll start in a different spot because I, I had moved around to find an actual spot to save because um, it doesn't allow you to save in the world map. At least not that I could find. Um, so, the next episode uh, will hopefully be uh, a little bit shorter than these last couple of ones. Um, and hopefully the audio has worked for these. It's, it seems like it has, so, uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for joining me for this, uh, video, and, uh, comment, uh, any ideas you have to make this series better, um, any ideas you have, uh, just <laughs> where you think I went wrong, or, uh, what you think I should do instead. So uh, thank you all for watching again, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.